Hey everyone, it's Randall. I'm here with another video. Just wanted to update you guys that moving forward, I'll be posting any of my long form content like Dragon Tales on YouTube exclusively. It's time to come over to YouTube to try and build uh, an audience here if one even exists. So, you know, I enjoy creating content for reptiles and my experiences with them. Uh, do I have days where I don't really have uh, capacity to create content? Yeah, for sure, right? There are days where I feel pretty down about that. But for the most part, I enjoy creating content. I, I love the process. And that's something that I'm gonna try to focus on, you know, just, just focus on the process of creating stuff. Uh, if people like it, then that's great, right? So yeah, moving, moving on to YouTube. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be a great start. You all will come along for the journey. So this week's Dragon Tales, um, my first night out in the Bring Low Belt, really exciting stuff. We got to see some really cool Australian species, um, including the second most venomous snake in the world, so that was pretty cool. But I'll let the video speak for itself. I think I've been on for <laughs> long enough. So I hope you all enjoy. Hey guys, I'm back with another update on my time in Australia. After spending some quality time filming wild bearded dragons, the attention now turns to my first night out herping in the Brigolo Belt. It was a super hot day, so the road surface was pretty warm. With any luck, we might just cruise upon some of Australia's most venomous snakes. Our first find of the evening was this rare grey snake. It's a species that's listed as endangered on the IUCN red list. This is mainly due to factors such as predation by introduced feral cats and foxes, habitat destruction, as well as dangerous prey items such as the invasive cane toad. Grey snakes are most active slightly after sunset, on the hunt for frogs, which is most likely what this one was doing before we found it. A pretty good start for the night I'd say, and a big mood booster after the depressing warmer we found just a couple hours earlier. While I was fawning over the snake, Max found an animal that I was all too familiar with back home. In Singapore, the green tree frogs are the only amphibians marketed as legally captive bred pets. A depressing thought for anyone into the hobby of herpetoculture, but still pretty cool to see one of their wild counterparts living it out in their native habitat. After getting some footage, we continued our cruise into the long night. Along the way, we stopped along a spot Max was familiar with as he pointed out some trees that yielded this pretty little gecko. Golden-tailed geckos are endemic to the Brigolo Belt of southeastern Queensland, which means this would probably be the only time on my tour that I'd be able to film these species. Check out those piercing red eyes and that golden tail. These lizards have a unique ability. When threatened, you are able to squirt a foul-smelling liquid from their tail right into their predators' faces. For better or worse, I wasn't able to get footage of its defense mechanism, as this lizard clearly didn't think me to be a worthy adversary. I called it quits on the gecko and we resumed the drive in search of snakes. By now, we had been out for hours when we finally got a glimpse of Australia's second most venomous snake on the road right in front of us. The eastern brown snake is native throughout central and eastern Australia. It's allegedly been responsible for about 60% of snake bite deaths in Australia. As such, you can imagine why I was hesitant to stray near this animal to get footage of it. It's one thing filming venomous snakes back home where there was a sense of familiarity, but this was a whole different game. Despite this, I thought it best to make clear that this snake was in no way being overly aggressive. It never gave chase, but merely wanted me to back off so it would feel safe enough to go on about its way. Now this is a signature defensive pose of an Eastern Brown. It gets into an S position and puffs itself up, telling potential threats to back off. What an exciting encounter with one of Australia's most venomous snakes, and a satisfying conclusion to a great night out. 
on the next episode of Dragon Tales, I'll be sharing about what was my favourite find of the trip so far. It's a lizard whose popularity has skyrocketed worldwide in recent years, in the reptile pet hobby. See you all next time for a feature on the Eastern Blue Tongue Skink.